Hi, work from Plumcell here. In today's video, I will show you how to split PDFs into separate documents using Plumcell documents and Power Automate. So the process looks like this. We'll take a PDF file, split it at a particular page, and use that page to send it via email. This approach can be handy if you, for example, if your company receives uh, too many PDF documents with like for example, service contract and an invoice attached at the end. So you just need to grab that invoice and send it via email for payment. Examples like this are endless and we will use this particular one to show how it works in this video. Depending on where we're gonna store our file, we'll have to choose different connectors for different systems. Power Automate has uh, many different connectors for different systems. And in our case, we will store our file into SharePoint library and we will use SharePoint connectors. So our sample file looks like this. This is a simple service contract uh, with an invoice attached at the end of the contract. So once we save this file into SharePoint library folder, the one we choose before, it will run an automated cloud flow split the file and send an email with this invoice attached in the email. Let's get to the business and see how everything looks in Power Automate. So let's switch to Power Automate account and click to create a flow. In here we will select Automated Cloud Flow and give it a name. We will call it Split PDF Files and as a trigger you have to select when a file is created or modified properties only and remember we are using sharepoint so we will use this connector from sharepoint and here we will choose our sharepoint site address and library name next step is to get file content from sharepoint this action gets file content of the specified file from the SharePoint document library. In here, you just specify SharePoint site URL and as file identifier, select identifier. We use this action to read our sample PDF document. And now we can search for, for Plum Sale Documents Connector and select Split PDF. You can see many other options in here, so you can use those options to convert different uh, type of files. In our case, we will use split PDF. If this is your first time using Plum Sale Documents Connector, Power Automate will ask you to uh, input connection name and API key. So now you can go back to Plum Sale account, select API keys, and then add key, give your connection name, and copy the key and paste it in Power Automate. Once we've connected Power Automate to Plum Sale Documents via API key, we can go back to our flow to continue building it. So in the document content field, we have to insert the PDF file content from the output of the previous action. And start page field specifies the first page where the split starts. And end page field specifies the last page where the split ends and that page will be included as well split at the page field uh, in here we can enter a number of pages per partition in our example we extract only one page of the document so we will enter number one as an output of this action we will receive an array of result files in our case we have only one file so once the result file is generated, we can send an email using the send email action from Office 365 Outlook connector. So we can search for send an email from Microsoft version 2. Now we have to fill out the email fields, specify receiver's email address, subject, and email body. In the advanced options section, uh, we will give our result file name and in the attachment name field, I will specify the invoice and select that my file gets the dynamic name with 
file extension. So file name with extension will be chosen. For the attachment content, we select to collect dynamic content values and choose option current items. This will automatically transform this action into a repeating one, which will uh, per be performed each time uh, for a result file. So please note, just to remind you again, that we have only one file in the queue. Click save and we have finished the flow setup in Power Automate. Now we can test this flow manually and click test, continue and run the flow. To be able to test this automated cloud flow, we have to trigger it somehow. And we will do it by dropping a PDF file into the SharePoint library folder we have chosen before. This will refresh the page and we can see that everything runs perfectly. Now we can go back to, your, to our email inbox and click the email we have just received and selected PDF page with invoice has been delivered automatically. If you are struggling with document related repetitive tasks in your organization, you can share your case with us in the comment section below. So we will co consider demonstrating that case in our future videos. Uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel to learn more about automation and you can always sign up for 30-day free trial to test it yourself. Thank you.